When you look at modern day drag racing, you can't help but wonder, how do they get 8,000 horsepower out of these engines? And then how do you tune and manage an eight cylinder Moab bomb? Well, I wondered myself, so I asked. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com. I'd seen drag racing up close more than a few times in my life, but I never paid much attention to it. I was too caught up in sports car racing and open wheel. I mean, that's where my family came from. But I had the chance to ask a few of the top guys in drag racing about these engines. I love building engines. It's like therapy, but nothing like this. Antron Brown was the first to show me what went into these top fuel cars. Now, he didn't get too technical with it, but I had to ask. So he showed me a few of the motors and the injection systems. And I kept thinking that these cylinders are big, but I've seen big cylinders in V8s before. It still mystified me as to how you can get that much horsepower out of one of these motors. Well, after Antron showed me the cockpit of one of these things, I got involved in that, and I started to appreciate just how much these people love this sport. You are riding on a bomb just as sure as Slim Pickens, riding the A-bomb down like a cowboy in the movie Dr. Strange Loves. There is no room for error. But I still had to know how they got that kind of horsepower. I'm just too curious. So the next stop was one of the very top funny car teams. No names here. The crew chief proceeds to show me how the objective was to push as much burned fuel through those cylinders as possible in that sub four second run. And what he said next floored me. He said that in that short run, these engines burn the equivalent of 80 gallons of fuel per minute. Per minute. All I can say is that this week in Atlanta, you guys and girls have my utmost respect. That kind of horsepower is military level stuff. I just hope the Chinese government doesn't get their sneaky little fingers on one of these. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com. See you next time.